This is the final part of the syllabus review for English 122, section 801, composition 2. This is a review of the assignment schedule because if you just look at it without any explanation, it just is confusing. So uh, to explain how this goes and so you can make sure that you're keeping up to date, um, I'm making this video for you. So you'll see four columns. We have the week that we're looking at. So uh, week one begins January 13th. This is a Monday. I always go, I think, Monday through Sunday. I'm hoping this is a Monday. Uh, that way we can know when the week begins and the week ends. So yes, it's always Monday and it ends on that, uh, actually, yeah, that Sunday. But usually everything will be due on that Saturday by the, you know, that'll be my last due date for the week. So you kind of have Sunday to recuperate. So then we have reading lessons and video lessons. This is what you need to do. Prepare for the other sort of assignments. So uh, either you're watching a video, which I know is exciting, um, or you're reading something, which is equally exciting. Uh, this kind of gives you an idea of what should be done. Then we have our discussion board postings, what's going to be due. And then writing assignments. So this will include summaries, journal assignments, and major papers and drafts. So uh, every week in Blackboard, I will have this posted. So usually it'll just be the top heading column and then the column for that week. Uh, hopefully that'll make sense for you. But uh, that's the main idea. So when we look at week one, we have it looks like a lot of stuff, but a lot of this is just um, housekeeping things like going over an introduction to the course, this video, the syllabus review, a video of writing, We'll have a link to reading claims and warrants from the Critical Thinking Handbook, which um, will be posted in week one of Blackboard. And then I'm also recommending that you begin reading Where Am I Giving? Um, it is a long book, uh, 200 and some pages, almost 300. And I have it broken up where we're reading Where Am I Giving? That's what this uh, wig, I guess, um, is broken up. So week two, uh, week four, and week six and so you'll see for week four we're reading um, that's week one so we're reading up almost 100 pages a week here it's just a little over 100 pages and this is the remaining 70 some pages so we'll be reading that in addition we'll have reading assignments from um, we don't have a textbook but from what would be a textbook so we're reading things like uh, Friedman's How Junk Food Can End Obesity, and you'll have a summary of that paper due um, in addition to a discussion board. During these al alternating weeks, weeks one, three, five, we will be starting to discuss our topics, so we'll have journal papers due, and I might make these bold so you can see them, but I don't think that's really an issue uh, because they're all with what's due. Um, and I'll be asking you what you know, that sort of thing. So you'll see uh, throughout that we'll have reading assignments. I always refer to the readers by their or the authors by their last names. Um, so you might have read this in Comp One if you had me, but I think this is a good one for us to look at. In addition, we have uh, Little Seagull Handbook reading assignments. Uh, these are good for you to look at. You might have read these in Comp One, and that's okay if you want to look at them again. I will also be referring you to sections uh, about writing. Um, W7 through W16, those are all in that brief menu about writing. So how do we write and read arguments, things like that. So uh, we'll have that. In addition, once we get past spring break, which is before spring actually begins, you'll be uh, starting to really turn in parts of your paper. So if you come back for spring break, your book review will be due on week nine. Um, We'll start workshopping it, so you'll have a draft of the book review due on week 7. So uh, by March 1st, you'll have turned in your draft. We'll be doing a workshop uh, during week 8 while you're also reading some other things and uh, learning about your topic. So there's a lot of things going on, um, but we'll mainly be wor workshopping the uh, book review. I'll be asking you to peer review three of your classmates' papers. Um, then we're starting to turn in drafts. So a topic overview and review of literature. This is your research and basic explanation. Uh, I expect your topic overview to evolve as you write your paper. So that's okay. And then week 10, 
the portion of your research paper will be due. So that's roughly a thousand words for research. It should all come together. The editorial analysis draft will be due in week 11. Um, in addition, I'll be asking you to do a journal where you get to write your own editorial. So that will help out with your call to action draft, which will be due that week 12. And you'll notice I don't have many other things going on. So it's plenty of time for you to work on this course. And then uh, presentations week 14, they need to be due by that Friday. So you have the week to watch and respond to your presentations. Then uh, you post your final thought discussion board and a capstone paper. And that's misspelled. This is why reading out loud is important because you get to edit better. So if you have problems with typos like I do, read your paper out loud. And then for some reason this is repeated, so um, we'll delete that. All right. So that is the end of the course. We are finish uh, May 9th and the grades will be posted shortly after. So that is our schedule. If you have questions about any of these due dates, please contact me and we'll add some clarity because um, sometimes things change or I was thinking one thing and then wrote another thing and that happens for all of us and that is okay but we get to revise. Uh, so please let me know what questions you have and I hope that uh, the syllabus review was not too painful.